guys, today is January the 19th, 2016, and I have this PVC pipe here. I was determining just how deep this substrate is, and the recommendation is at least four inches, uh, and even all the better have six inches of the substrate so that your turtle can dig down in. But Sparky uh, has gotten, he's done fine with this. It's three inches, and then I add a top layer of leaves, which puts it at least four inches of substrate that he can dig down if he would so choose, which he really rarely ever digs down. Uh, maybe just a little bit under the leaves and hangs out, but normally he, he just stays on top of the substrate. So anyhow, this is Eco Earth, and I really think this is just such a good, good choice. And um, you know, it's it's moist. Uh, I, I wet it, and you can see the water there uh, coming in between my fingers. Uh, you want it moist, but you don't want it soft and wet for your turtle. Um, so. Um, there's other things that you can use, hardwood mulch, but I don't care for it. I just think this can't be beat because it doesn't mold. It looks like dirt. It feels like dirt, but it doesn't mold like uh, dirt does, like soil does. Uh, so I 100% do not recommend, uh, even though it says four reptiles, which doesn't mean anything, they can say four reptiles and um, not necessarily, it, it might not be a good thing for turtles. So rabbit bedding is one that it says for reptiles, but I would totally not recommend it for a turtle at all. Um, so you cannot go by bedding as far as uh, if they say reptile, that does not mean that it is for a turtle. Now, another thing I wanted to cover is the reason I have this rag on top of this habitat is Sparky tends to get his feet caught uh, around the top. Of it, but this is the wood um, have a hut. I do not recommend the other type that's in, made out of artificial stuff. Uh, so here is his other have a hut, and then of course he has the the plants that he can hide under, and the leaves. You want to make sure to have them hides, and this hide here, it's just enough for him to get down underneath there. And you know, you, you want it, you don't want something real high and uh, where they're not gonna be able to hide. You know, they're, they're just gonna be on display. You wanna make sure they have highs. Now right now, Sparky actually has been in this area for two days. And I don't know whether I can get down here and let you see him or not. And I put him some greens down in there, a variety of greens. Sparky, where are you? I think I see you. So I got him a little bit of cauliflower, broccoli, uh, spring mix, grated carrots, um, a little bit of asparagus, because LP picked up a lot of veggies today. Just put it in there for him. Very unlikely that he takes one bite of anything, but I just keep trying. I just put it in there anyway, let it sit and dehydrate a little bit. So that's what ends up happening, you know, when you leave it overnight, you know, they'll just kind of dry up. So guys, when are you coming out, Spark? Huh? But see, they love to have their hides, you know? And it just breaks my heart, you know, when people don't give them hides. I'm not going to bother you. I know you're going to get wound up. I know you're going to get wound up. But he's just enjoyed hanging out in there in his um, spider plants. And he just feels safe there. They need to have hides. They need plants. They need habitats. They need places to hide. Or they just can get really, really upset. But there's times Sparky just wants out anyway. But uh, just try to keep your turtle, you know, do things for them so they won't be so stressed. So that's it, guys.